be the FFT Berserker Arena uh, matches, round one, match one through four. Match one right here is Baron versus Arobo. Um, I'm not going to do a huge breakdown of the teams, but I'm just going to go a quick overview of their gear. Uh, Mad Squire is a null pointer uh, MP switching squire with re-raise. Mad Prox is dual cutter, Splatina dagger, HP tanking ninja with salty rage, working on the dragon spirit for another source of re-raise. He's also got a 6 move concentrate, that's pretty scary. Um, Mad X is rocking the tomahawk uh, for some throwing shenanigans and re raised via the angel ring and more MP switching. Mad Sleep is kind of the, uh, the off tank one. She's going to do some weird things with Slumber Staff, hopefully, and Spike Futon. Uh, we'll see what she brings. On the bottom is Robel down here. So that was on top. Baron's team, the Mad team. And. Marobal down here has got the Tactician's Blade and Gory Plate, uh, Black Hood and Light Robe. He's MP switching. He's more of a tanky unit. Uh, Hot Maltos is a Gambling Axe, Damage Dealing, Damage Splitting Paladin. Uh, a lot of health. Uh, both are carrying Shantange for the Innate Protect Shell and Re-Raise. And then you got Thom doing his job with the Archer. Uh, archers are the best way to go with Berserkers for range units over 3 range. And Awesome Wind is using Repel Knife and Poison. I see the Poison being more dangerous. Maybe the Don't Act, if you don't carry Don't Act protection. But we'll see. Alright. Oop. Dang it. I hate it when the sound breaks. Sorry guys, we're going to do a quick reset. I hadn't started the matches yet, but the sound broke. We're going to get right back into it. And that's the fun thing about doing this live, is sometimes mistakes happen. Maybe I didn't need to reset it, I just need to close it and reopen it. Alright, anyway, we're going to map A6 to go let's pass. And the music starts now. And here we go. Baron's in red. Um, the Rebels in white. And everyone's going to be Berserk, so they're all going to be red or red. Ooh, dual cutters plus platina dagger means dead ninja. Tom gets a bow shot in. There's Dragon Spirit though. Mad CT goes. He's gonna look for Null Pointer on the Archer. There is no re-raise on Herobel's Archer. I think he may have had Dragon Spirit and it just didn't happen. Um, should change negating almost all that damage. MP split. Burned on Mad CT. Brisk Mum just drops the ninja. Baron's ninja does have re-raise. Oh, Tomahawk gets a kill. Slumber Staff goes, does not get its proc off, and there's damage split. And that's a dead priest. Ouch. That looks like a crit, too. Uh, Baron's Ninja will probably go down and stay down. Oh, Dragon Spirit. If it goes down, he'll get right back up. Uh, the priest is down, and she will stay down, though. Tomahawk goes off. That's uh, Mad Ninja. Uh, Platina Blade proc doesn't do a whole lot, and then, ah, oh, Berserk shenanigans. That's the first friendly fire kill of the game. Let's see how many friendly fires we get this, uh, this tournament. Null Pointer goes off and does its job, slowing down the Squire, allowing the gambling, the Mad Axe to throw, and he does get blocked, though. Hot Maltos gets his kill with Gambler's Axe. Baron Squire gets right back up and keeps applying pressure, as does Robles. Herobal looks to be in command. Ooh! Gambler Axe proc for 300 total damage and finished off. Proc killed you, Baron. Sorry about that. Herobal moves on to map 2 with one win. See what happens on map 2. Alright, Baron versus Herobal. Still going. Remember, folks, Baron's gonna be in red, Herobal's gonna be in white. This is a small, large, medium uh, map organization. So we're going to go to Dolabar Swamp next. I'd say that Herobal probably has a bigger advantage on a larger map because his archer can just play havoc with people. But then again, Baron's got six move on a ninja with teleport. That's uh, pretty scary too. Yeah, Baron leaps forward, and the archer's not quite in range with the ultimate spell. But the only question is, is will Baron's team be able to catch up on such a large, watery map? And with teleport, it says yes. Yes, it can. 
Ooh, MP switch. MP switch and should change really makes a nice combo. That's a dead ninja. He does have re-raise. He will come back and he will play Havoc with the back line. Both teams looking at similar concepts. Ooh, double block. Hey, dual cutters, Platina Blade, again, another dead ninja for Herobo. Um, and Baron's Ninja, both of them down, no re-raise, so the ninjas are out of the fight. Dragon Spirit. Gambler's Proc for 250. Tomahawk for good damage. Sleep Proc? Yes, Sleep did Proc, ouch. Herobo could be in trouble there. No pointer did not go off. And Baron got his re-raise. Here's another proc. And the Squire does have re-raise for a robo. He's back up. And I think Baron's in trouble. Two of you guys in critical. No pointer does go off though before the knight got to act, and the paladin is now back at zero CT. Ooh. Just in time if the sleep oh sleep doesn't go off. Damage split got the kill. Thom's gonna get another kill, oh no, but he gets back up because of re-raise! More re-raise, oh no, oh no, no! Oh, Herobo really needed that. Now it's just a game of keep away. Oh, grass got in the way, Archie moves over, and that's a dead knight, alright. Herobo takes match one. Nice try, Baron, it was a fun team, I like the concepts. Um, yeah. That looked really good. I don't know, what about you guys? We like that? Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving this. Fastest, fastest tournament match ever. All right, Rex versus RG. So let's look at the two teams real quick. All right, Rex on top, RG on bottom. I pun to tar. I'm gonna come up with a new tournament rule, guys. You give me a name like this, I automatically give you a map one loss. All right, heavy spear. Heavy spear does what? Breaks something. Armor break. Armor break, okay. Cool. So you got armor break, you got some PA, you got counter, you got attack up. Alright. Then you got shield render. Well you you guys are just all kinds of meaning on Scarmax. Mysticar has got the Seductress, which is a new book. That can proc charm. Lovely. And then you got Gastrophenes. With abandon. Really? Really? You put abandon on that? Uh, Alright, anyway. Alright, Archie's team on bottom. Angry is a double ancient sword paladin. Ancient sword does petrify or don't move? Petrify. Oh. oh. Now that's a double petrified temp there. Uh, Sejectress. <coughs> that's really funny, actually. <coughs> Night killer. Cursed Ring. Okay, there we go. That's what I was looking for. There's a Cursed Ring unit. I was waiting for that. And an Octagon Rod? And more Cursed Ring? Uh... RG's? Got it? Maybe. I like the use of Cursed Ring. Alright, we're going to map 8. New Vane's Castle War Room. Let's have fun. Alright, so, uh, Argy's in red, Rex is in blue. Ooh, big heavy spear hit. No Petrify Pock, and Counter says you die. Sejectress got a kill there, and there is re-raise. <laughs> uh, Sejectress, miss? Did the Candelabra get in the way of the book reading? That's hilarious. Alright, bow shots. Oof. 400 damage from a sword swag. 
Ugh. Um. Rax was looking for a kill there, but he didn't quite get it. Uh, this is going really fast. I think Archie's got this one. Uh, but the candelabra just keeps taking shots. Those tiny little candles. Oh, nope, never mind. Death by stick. Alright, RG takes map one. That was quick. I'm spending more time breaking down the teams than I am on actually recording them fighting. Berserker matches for the win. Whoever said this would be a good idea, they were pretty smart. Was that White Knight, Warrior Griff? Or was that me? But she was White Knight. I'm not capable of smart thoughts like that. Anyway, large map. Rex versus RG. Again, Rex in blue, RG in red. And of course, everyone's got that mean sheen over them, too. This is hilarious. I'm, I'm having way too much fun recording this, by the way, guys. Ooh. Immediate bookshot. Not quite in range. That squire just did... Yeah, oh, there's poison. Poison does work. Ooh, counter says you die? Again? Angry did that? That second time Angry did that. Holy crap. Two-handed diamond swords are a thing. Um, books kill people. There's a bow shot to the back of a priest's head. More poison from Poison Bow. Um, guess the knight couldn't quite get to a kill? Nope. I'd say that... Yeah, Archie's in trouble now. Rex has command, but bow shots are missing due to terrain. Uh, oh, three raise is a thing. And, nope, never mind. Archie has it. Two maps, two wins. Seems to be a thing. Alright, so RG is moving forward. So that's Herobal and RG moving forward so far. They'll play each other off in the next set of matches. Um, yeah. Next victim? Will be provided by either DW or Anima Zero. Let's get to breaking down those teams real quick. Alright, so... Oop, not ready for that yet. DW versus Anima Zero. DW's on top, Anima's on bottom. Okay, yeah, DW's got Luck Guard the Samurai. With a Silver Bow, I'm really excited to see if the Silver Bow pays off. Uh, Samurai, Projectile Guard, Luck Up. Awareness Thief. So she's kind of telling you what she's doing with her units, I guess? Um, lots of PA there. And you're going to dodge. Cool. Um, Heartbreaker's got a Shield Trinder Paladin with Float, nice. And then Battle Spirit's got the Demon Spear. Okay. Okay. Heartbreaker's got an Auto Potion. Battle Spirit's got Dragon Spirit. Shersh! I didn't catch that. Shersh. Alright. Amon is the ninja for uh, Anima Zero. He's got Sleep Ancient Sword combo. Hyperion the Demon Lancer Shersh. To DW and our uh, Automa just copy each other. Uh, Life Drinker with a Blood Sword. We don't see Blood Sword used very often. And more Shershing. Uh, that'll be interesting. What element is Blood Sword and why are you using Diamond Helmet? Oh, don't act and re-raise. My bad. And then Thunderbolt, the Lightning Bow, Archer. Because there's nothing better than Attack Up, Don't Acting Archer. Alright. DW vs. Sama Zero, they are going to play on map numero... Um... 94. Run down Shed. Cool. Well, let's go. This one's the stone one, not the wood one. Aha! Samurai Cellar. Okay. I just knows this one. Awareness runs forward and Thunderbolt's gonna shoot at him. And yeah, you, you, you just get blocked. 48% chance to get through. That's DW's troll unit. 
Mm hmm And she's just trolled three guys. And no holy proc yet, but that's gonna be the thing from Silverbow, isn't it? So autumn is in black, DW's in reds. Uh, awareness didn't quite save him that time. But no, yep. Yeah, all of his good luck did not pay off, and then there is stabbing ourselves in the back. Second case of friendly fire. Ooh, and the life drain happens. Sturdy. Bloodsword gets another 150 back. Uh, DW just backs up and shoots. And more backing up and shooting. I mean, the only time that Berserker AI actually does anything intelligent is when they have a bow in their hands. Ooh, Demon Spear proc for good damage. And provides Dragon Spirit. I think DW's in trouble. We shall see. Oh, boop, there's a kill. And there's another kill. And I'm, I'm just going to say there's a kill, and yeah, guaranteedly someone's going to be dead. Ooh, more Demon Spearness. We'll, we'll see if DW's tanky Demon Spear can hold out against Anima's, but I don't think so. Anima's got the support of a bow user, and a Donak proc is all it takes. Nope, Anima gets a kill. And that's it for DW's team round one. Let's see what happens on map two. Oh, I am so doing this without music, I'm sorry. Put the music back. Good music, too. Sorry, guys, for the dead air there. We are going to map number... Mmm... Selkless Desert. 76. I wonder if DW likes Selkless Desert. Or Anima. I should check the chat. No holy proc so far, DW, but it'll come back. Ah, uh, Baron asked about the music, too. That's hilarious. I've got, like, four windows up on my, uh, internet browser, so I don't often know what you guys are saying. I'm sorry. Coming back. Luck Guard Samurai. I'm still thinking Awareness is just gonna troll everybody. Uh, no. Nope, never mind. He's not... No. Well, could've been trolling his own team. Hey guys, hey guys, watch me dodge. No, never mind. Ooh, holy proc. Gets blocked. Doesn't happen. Nope. Didn't even connect. Uh... How much damage did he do with that knife? He did... And now he's trolling everybody like he was supposed to last time. Oh, good shot. Samurai backs up, goes for a bow shot, no holy proc, but that's okay. Because I do crazy amounts of damage, because I'm DW, doing crazy amounts of damage. Whew. Oh, uh, no, never mind. Awareness finally stopped trolling people, but it is job. Auto potion goes off, no dragons, no demon spear proc, though. Got re-raise. That really paid off for Anima last time. There's the holy proc. That's a near-dead unit. Dragon Spirit might help? Oh, there's the Donak proc too, though. Uh-oh. Who's messing with my night butt? Aww. Dead units. Lots of dead units. Mmm, the crystallizing occurs. Thunderbolt. Nope, no don't act proc, though. DW might be okay, even if everyone's in critical. Wait, does Anima have projectile guard? Demon Spear tried to get his health back. One health left, and he does secure a kill with Blood Sword and gets all that health back. Anima takes this back around. Starting to look good for DW. Now there's some trouble. He lands another blood sword hit. Oh, only 70 though. Backs up. Takes a shot. Nearly dies, but not quite. Depend on if that demon spear gets to land again. It connects. Alright, the paladin is still alive. Blood sword for more health. That's just crazy. Crazy amounts of health. The archer just can't quite kill him. And now DW is done. 
Anima Zero advances. Ouch. So close, CW. So much back and forth. Oh, I've robbed. Oh, well. Sorry, DW. Anima goes forward. No be good, though. GG, guys. This is really fun. Alright, round four, uh, round one is almost over. We just have Doku versus Andrew. Doku Ryder and Andrew. Let's go look at their teams. <coughs> and again, I will be recording the rest of these while I am on vacation, I'm sure. Um, Doku Ryder on top, Andrew on bottom. I see two Geomancers. Interesting. Alright, Old World Rage, Ancient Sword, Gory Plate, Cursed Ring. HP Restore, HP Restore, that's annoying, but he doesn't have a lot of health. We'll see what happens. Doku, I don't know. Wind Fury's got Heaven's Cloud. He, he uh, hits like a truck, I'm assuming? Yeah, counter, defense up. Hits like a truck. Righteous, for oh. Ooh. Chaos Blade Paladins. They're scary. And then Cornered Beast, Excalibur. Excalibur is a new axe. It does frog. So why why this is interesting, Righteous Rage, is it will take away Masa Moon or Shersh or Turnsil base protect and shut. Cornered Beast, Excalibur, Concentrate Counter, Concentrate Defensive. Oh, okay, okay. I like that. Now we go down to Andrew's team. Andrew, of course, being the primary architect um, behind the test patch. Just kind of putting everything together. I wanted to really see what he did too. Feather Mantle for the evasions. Excalibur for the frog talk. Gambler's Axe. Dracula Mantle. Ultimus Bow. Pure Damage. Lots of Concentrate. MP Switch. That'll be interesting. Lots of MP there. And then... The Repel Knife Gladius? Is that the Don't Move one? No, that's the slow one. So you don't act them and then you slow them jerk. I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. Mm, not gonna call it. I like both Doku and Andrew as people. Uh, let's see what happens at the sluice. The pressure? What do you mean the pressure? You can handle this. You can handle this. Alright, Doku's in blues. Andrew's in reds. Sort of blue. Don't act and the slow lands. Jesus. Ooh, no frog procking. Not a lot of damage either. Oh, I forgot to check their, their brave faith ratios. Ooh, I think Andrew was a jerk and took like some really low faith stuff. Low brave stuff too. Oop, they're slow. Uh, you don't act in. So why are you casting something? Oh, because the don't act wore off. No frog, no slow. Huh. Or did you attempt to do something? Andrew, of course, has secured three kills now. Doku has no form of re-raise, and he misses his shot because of float. Float actually bit him in the ass. One bow shots. So... Uh, yeah. Float is still biting you in the ass. Oh, they're undead, that's why. Doku went for the undeads. So that, that might work. Oh, there's the re-raise. And the float goes away. Yeah, the jail answers are undead. Ooh, counter makes a kill, though. Entry boot for the long haul. Ooh, there's a frog proc, though. That's cute. And it doesn't matter. Andrew wins the round one. Match one. Map one. My bad. Alright, let's see what happens. Going to the large map. Sultina Church Ruins. That'll be fun. Map 45, Zeltina Church Ruins. That's our large map. Let's... Alright.
That's an annoying song from FF10? Well, that's better. Nobody? What do you mean, nobody? What's going on? <laughs> Don't act already on the Geomancer, and he's down. I do remember it's Doku's Geomancers that have the curse rings. Oh, no frog proc. Ooh, very quick. Andrew is very quick to get the kills on the Geomancers. They will get back up. And I really think Andrew built a defensively trolly team. It's very defensive, it's very trolly. Don't act in haste prevents a dragon spirit. No petrify proc. Ooh, and he's frogged! That, that is a dead paladin. Bow shot, and that's it. That's it for Doku. Alright, Andrew takes it. Sweegis! Alright, so that's going to be Anua versus Andrew in match 6. And then Hirobal is going to face off against RG in match 5. Good job, guys. GG. That was fun. I really enjoyed recording this. So we'll see what happens going forward. Thanks, guys. For